Hello, welcome to Active Classroom. Here at Social Studies School Service, we are happy to be able to provide you with free digital access to our platform. As you transition to working with students remotely, we are here to help make that process easier. I'm going to walk you through how to get everything set up. This is the view when you log in, after you've registered and filled out the link we sent you. First, let's get your classes set up. Some districts already have rostering, but for those of you who are brand new, click on Manage Students. Create a new student class and give it a name, then hit Save. You can go back and look at all of your different classes listed here, but how do we get the students listed in? Click Active Classroom to take you back to the home screen. Simply click on your name and it allows you to edit your profile. Scroll down, copy the student registration URL and paste it into Schoology, Google Classroom, or anything similar. This is the link for your students. All they have to do is fill out the information. They put in their first name, last name, an email, but they don't need to put in a contact number. They do have to set up a password. Because you did all of that pre-work by setting up the classroom, when the students click here, they can simply select which class they belong to. They have to agree to the terms of use and register. Make sure to give them the link so they can register to the class and not the same link you received. Each link is unique to the teacher. Click on Active Classroom to go back to the home page. Remember your student's registration URL is located right here under your name where you click on your profile. Now that you have your students all added in, let's share some content with them. Let's start with the atlases. Here are all of the atlases we have to offer, although you may only have access to the atlas specific to your grade level. Share these with your classes beforehand. Let's say you teach geography. You can use the desk atlas. Click on it and it pulls up all of the classes you have added. Add the classes in and click send. Now all of your classes will have access to this atlas. The layout of the atlases is very similar to an ebook. Flip through the pages or go to a specific page by typing in the number. Another powerful section of content you can explore are the maps. This is a drawing tool where the students can interact with the map. Students will be able to change between maps to view different content. Let's look at a land cover map of the United States. Students can add in different layers, such as political features, draw images, select different icons, and add in videos, pictures, and text. They can even create a title. If you need any more information, we have support videos to help you. If you've been given a curriculum map, you'll see it lays out all of your courses for you. Select the grade you want and pick through the activities by clicking on the eyeball or the assign button, which allows you to assign it out to your class. Add and save the assignment. Give special instructions or add highlights if you'd like the students to annotate. It will then give you an LTI link, so if you're using Google Classroom or Schoology, you can copy this link and paste it there. You will also get a link to give your students that links directly to the assignment. You can search for assignments in a variety of ways through Active Classroom. Type in the search bar to search by keyword and it will pull up all of the activities that are related to your search. You can preview activities by clicking the eyeball or go in directly to assign them. If you decide you want to search by standard instead, select which state you are in, the grade level, and standard types. You can also select your state content standards. Once you're done, click Update. Once you've selected, Active Classroom will generate all of the activities related to that specific standard. You can use Advanced Search for more concise results. Search by subject, era or theme, series title, or activity type. The benefits of searching this way is that all of the collections are of like-minded activities. Now, let's review assignments and grades. 
This feature allows you to capture all of your students' grades. Look into their gradebook to see what they're doing, and while you're there, you can grade them, publish the grades, or allow them another attempt. Active Classroom also has a discussion board. Every assignment automatically creates a discussion you can launch. You can create your own to customize the discussion, post topics, and ask your students questions. The discussion board is a great way for classroom interactions to continue taking place, even in a remote setting. We hope everyone stays healthy. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are here to help.